Hello and good morning. Welcome to our presentation, and thank you for coming. My name is Nicola Lam, and I'm studying business at the PolyU. This is my partner Jasmine Chen. Hello everyone. Thanks for coming. Do you know what an intelligent building is? Actually, intelligent buildings have been developed since the 1980s, and since then, interest has been growing in them. However, they have not been used as widely as expected. We can't see many examples in the world, and there are not many at all in Hong Kong, Citibank Plaza being one of the few instances. So, why aren't there more intelligent buildings in Hong Kong? Well, that is what we will answer in our presentation today. We'd like to show you some of the advantages and disadvantages of intelligent buildings, and then discuss why this type of building is not used for residential buildings in Hong Kong. We have divided our presentation into four sections. First I will tell you what the features of intelligent buildings are, then I will look at the advantages. Next, I will hand you over to Jasmine, who will analyze the drawbacks and finally give a conclusion as to why this type of building is not used for housing in our city. After that, we will be happy to answer any questions that you may have. The presentation will last around 10 minutes, and we have included a complete reference list on the final slide. Okay, I'll start now by explaining to you some of the features of intelligent buildings. Derek Clements Kroom, in his 2004 book, states that, 